Students uh, across Maine are being picked up early, dropped off late, unable to get to or from their extracurricular activities, all because of a school bus driver shortage. Good evening, I'm Brian Nicono. Amanda Hill is on assignment tonight. The driver shortage isn't new. Some who work in the industry say the problem started back in the 90s when the federal government put in stricter guidelines. But now a bill is being introduced to the legislature to try to solve that problem. News Center Maine's Jackie Mundry reports. Districts across the state are having to get creative when it comes to getting students from one place to another. There's been several of us that have driven. Lewiston Superintendent Jake Langless doesn't have a commercial driver's license, but he has driven kids in the school's van when they are short bus drivers. It's sometimes for weeks long uh, commitments because of driver shortage. Hey, I'm Gary Drinkwater representing District 27. Now, Representative Gary Drinkwater is proposing a bill to try to combat the bus driver shortage. Today's bill is just to say, hey, we have a problem. Here are some solutions. Let's go to work and let's fix this problem. He's been working with people who are working in the bus industry day after day, including leaders at Searbus in Old Town. People just are not coming through the doors to drive a school bus. Melanie Van Aken works at Sear Bus and says that many people who are retired and are looking for a part-time job don't want to go through six months of training to get it. We're trying to lessen that, not that we want to make school busing not safe because we want to make it safe, as always, but the demands are too much. And for others, once they get their commercial license paid for by Sear, they go drive a truck for more money. We have lost a lot yeah. doing it that way. Drinkwater has been working with the Secretary of State's office on this proposal. The bill asks the office to apply for waivers from the federal government to try to lessen some of the demands on potential bus drivers. The Secretary of State's office is neutral on this bill. In testimony, the Deputy Secretary of State says the office is already working to make the application and testing process faster for school bus drivers and says it's willing to consider some of these waivers from the federal government. We are currently planning to address a handful of the issues that we believe we can improve within the limits of the state and federal laws. Until these issues can be solved, districts like Lewiston will continue to struggle. We're still facing daily cancellations. Langless adds it's been hard, but families in his district have been understanding. Jackie Mundry, News Center, Maine. No one testified against that bill today. The committee says it wants to work with the Secretary of State's office to solve the problem.